Oh, is, is Xanadu uploading late again? Yes, yes I am. First of all, welcome back to DigiDaily. I'm your host, Xanadu, and I'm um, gonna be doing this. Uh, I'm gonna try this out because it seems like uploading in the morning actually isn't helping view-wise. Uh, I should have known that because a lot of you actually are not in the States, specifically not even in the West, the East Coast. So I think uploading late might actually be better for the channel, but I won't be uploading this late all the time. I'm uploading this late, first of all, because we just got some spicy, spicy, spicy news. I'm super hyped, guys. The X3 has been formally announced. We know how they look like. We know who's in it. Well, at least most of the Digimon that are going to be in it. We know um, how they look. Uh, I don't think we can order them just yet. I think the 23rd is when we can order them, but I could be wrong. Um, however, uh, a quick update on, on the boys, uh, and that is uh, Marine Debimon. Still Marine Debimon, because I need to... Um, I got to jog rest them. Um, so, I'll, I'll, if I have enough time, I'll do that at the end of the episode. As far as um, Aero Vigramon, Zero Maru, he's going to evolve hopefully tomorrow slash tonight. We'll see, though. Um, so let's talk about the X2. So first of all, we of course have yellow and blue. We already knew that the colors were going to be yellow and blue. Um, yellow looks a bit gaudy in my opinion, but I do quite like it. Um, I think, I don't know, I, I, I like its Digimon on it for sure. Uh, it's doing that thing again where the, the, the Digimon I want are not on the color I like. They did that with the X2 also. Um, so, I don't know. Um, the, uh, the the cage, black, black buttons, white X, I wish it was a black X, uh, I don't know why, um, the only one that had the consistency was the version 1, the version 2, uh, the red one doesn't have consistency, uh, and now these don't have consistency, I, I wish uh, everything was the same color, but at the same time it does look interesting, it's got a white X, the background I'm super hype about. I love and absolutely adore the background. The background is actually a reference to the background. Well, not really the background, but the the symbol for the original Digimon X toys, the original Digimon X V pets. That's the symbol uh, that I had. The Zai symbol. It's pretty much like it looks exactly the same. Like it's got that classic uh, look, and I, I quite adore that. I really do like that. The blue, beautiful, beautiful electric blue. I think I would I would call it. I'm comfortable calling it that. Electric blue white cage white buttons just gorgeous gorgeous device honestly i did not get both of the x2s but i really really am thinking of getting both of the x3s um the cover or the the actual packaging we see too um gankumon x is on the yellow version looking very very badass i really do like gankumon x's design i thought they were going to go full jojo and like um, like give him like make his stand like more buff and whatever instead uh, his stand kind of becomes these gauntlets that he has and for some reason it seems like he has a chancla uh, which makes him obviously the most powerful ex antibody royal knight because I don't know if you guys know about la chancla um, but it is an ultra powerful weapon of destruction I feel very sad for every single demon lord because he's about to whoop their ass and then of course on the blue, uh, we have who I, I didn't even recognize at first. We have Examon X. So it seems like Examon did pull through. I guess he got severely injured by Lilithmon and then accepted the X antibody. And I'm going to assume that's why he is not dead and he now has the X antibody. So let's talk about some preliminary stuff. We know about some of the exclusive Digimon to the device. And Yellow, of course, like I said before, has a lot of my favorites. It's got a lot of Digimon in here that I adore and I need. <laughs> Uh, so of course we have Genkumon X looking very badass. I love the X on his chest that's like kind of cut in. Um, he he looks he looks really badass. I, I can't say really anything other than he looks great. I love his design. Um, Examon X really do like it. He uh, looks a bit weird in the legs, in my opinion. Kind of very big arms, but very kind of tiny legs. Um, but I do like the lightsaber sword. I guess he got he ditched the gun. Uh, which is a little bit of a shame, but I do like the the, the like the lightsaber sword thing, the swirl around his head, pretty cool. He's a more armored looking dragon than he was before. Very, he looks very much more like uh, knight esque, very knight like, uh, more so than the straight up just dragon design he had before. Do like it a lot. Then we get Justimon X, which that's a, I, I believe that's Justimon X. That's quite surprising in my opinion. 
Um, was not expecting to get a Justy Monax, but there he is. Uh, instead of having a super big arm, he's got like a super big arm slash beam cannon thing. Pretty dope. Uh, it also says the animation was done by Plex, and I'm like wondering, like, do you mean Plex, like the same guys who make the suits for like Sentai and Comrader, or like is there a separate Plex with a similar name? I don't know. Then of course we have my baby, my little baby boy. This is the main reason I'm getting the yellow first. It's Terriermon X, and he is so cute. He is so adorable. He's got like extra fur uh, around his ears. He's got more of a tiger stripe pattern. He's got more kind of uh, ends at his ears. Uh, he looks more fluffy. He's just adorable. He looks like I will protect him. I've only known him for like, about five minutes now, and I already know that I would die for him. Uh, and then, of course, we have Rise Greymon X, which I think is pretty nuts. Um, or sorry, now that's Geo Greymon X. My bad. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, it's not Geo Greymon's one above. It is Rise Greymon X, and he looks very, very nice. Uh, got a lot of like Tron lines on him. He's, uh, he's still rocking the uh, arm cannon, but it definitely looks a bit more beefy. I do quite like that. It's pretty dope design. And then, I actually thought this was Durandamon X, but it's not. It is actually um, Rapidmon Gold X. So that's pretty badass that they're adding the uh, another armor Digimon into the fold. And it's another gold armor Digimon too, because Rhinomon X was on the X1. So I find that very interesting. Uh, then we have, I believe that's Wizardmon X, and he looks freaking dope. Rest in peace. By the way, I never mentioned this on this show um, recently. Um, the voice actor for Wizardmon. He was also the voice actor for Lord Zed and Power Rangers. He actually just passed away recently and uh, they just announced the Wizardmon X. So I think that's uh, interesting. Uh, but yeah, rest in peace to him. I, uh, but I, I do really enjoy Wizardmon X's design. Looks really cool. I've always liked Wizardmon's design. I think a lot, I think a lot of people like his design and his character in general. I think it's definitely like one of the biggest moments in the entire series uh, in Adventure when he like sacrificed himself. I think that's just like a really important scene in general. Like that kind of like shaped an entire generation of kids um, and also scarred us. Uh, and then we have what appears to be a Monzaimon X. I could be wrong, but I mean, I don't know any more other teddy bears uh, that look like that. So I'm assuming that's Monzaimon X and he's quite cute. Um, he still has that kind of creepy look to him, but he's also cute. He's got the hair, the hearts. Um, he's got this kind of like bubble looking design that gives him a halo, a heart, and some uh, some wings behind him. I think it's quite cute. I really do enjoy the design. Uh, and now they showed off kind of the, the roster in the meantime. Um, I, I like the roster. It's very interesting. We do have a lot of things blocked out. Uh, we'll find out them sooner than later because they totally like showed their hand um, when the... Uh, when the X3 came out. I don't know why, but they were totally like, here's the last two, by the way. It's it's uh, Erismon's uh, Megas. Um, I don't know why they didn't keep that a secret. I guess they just really just like, hey guys, you know, we really need you to buy this, so here's everything. That's what you want. Buy it. Um, so we have Zerimon and Kuramon as the babies. I don't know who the hell that is. Baby 2, Gummymon, and uh, oh, Zerimon is... Duh, it's uh, Terrymon's uh, Terry baby one. And then, of course, you have Terrymon X, adorable. Palmon X, awesome. Dorumon, who should have been in the X1. Don't know why he wasn't, but better late than ever. Um, Blukamon, uh, Jazamon, Karamon X, who I think is that's that's very interesting. Um, actually, Sunmeimon, I believe. I guess, I guess that's Karamon's baby. Yeah, I think so. I'm reading off the names. I'm not looking at the. <laughs> I'm not looking at the the actual uh, picture. I'll have the picture up and I'll just say the names who they are uh, so that everyone's on the same page. Um, and then we have Saisamon X, Maramon X, Dorugamon, Karamon X, Togemon X, which is a pretty interesting uh, and inclusion. I'm really happy about that. Uh, Omekamon, I, um, Jazzardmon, again, I have no idea. Omega Shoutmon, that's dope. Uh, some more Cross Wars uh, representatives. I think that's really cool. I wish we would have gotten, like, you know, another, um, you yeah, know, some more. But, I mean, hey, Omega Shoutmon X, that's awesome. Uh, an X anybody for a Cross Wars Digimon. Who the hell would have ever thought that would have happened? I certainly wouldn't have. Uh, of course, we have uh, Cyberdramon X, Doru Guremon, 
Garudamon X, Cannon Beemon, which is pretty cool. Um, one of, I think that's, he originally showed up on the original Pendulum X's. Very interesting design. I quite like them, very weird. Uh, Grademon, Mamimon X, that's gonna be dope. Uh, Chris Palidromon, or Cries, Cries Palidromon? I have no idea who that is. Sorry, never heard of him. Don't think I've ever heard of him before. Uh, Jazzy Rocky, ja Jazzericamon, Jazzericamon? I have no idea who that is again, so sorry. Pumpmon, he just showed up to the party. I don't know if anyone invited him. He would just crash the party. Not even Pumpmon X, just Pumpmon. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Rapidmon X, awesome. Justamon X, again, awesome. Alphamon, awesome. Uh, Ho-Omon X, Tiger Vespamon, Holy Dramon X, super awesome. Dino Tigermon, I like his design. Ebimon X, don't know who Ebb I can't remember who Ebimon is. Metallic Dramon, um, Gaiomon, and then the two, who knows. Um, Gankumon X is a super mega. Magnamon X, sweet. Uh, Dynasmon X, Cranemon X, Rondo Nightmon or Lord Nightmon X, Dukemon X, Alphamon or Yuken, which I'm happy he's in this device because at first I was like, okay, why are we adding like Alphamon again? That's stupid. And I, I honestly, no offense, um, we've had Alphamon on so many different devices at this point that like his inclusion on the X, while if it wasn't here, I probably would be complaining about it because it's obvious. At the same time, it's just like we've seen him on so many devices at this point. He's on the English 20th, he's on the Pendulum 20th, uh, he, Alphamon, just Alphamon the Mega is on the X1. So it's a little weird for him to add him again. They should have just added Oryuken as the Mega and kept it at that, but I mean, he's here, he's a Super Mega, it makes sense. Diaboromon X is again on this device. I think it's a little weird considering uh, it's pretty stacked as far as like um, having like all the bad guys. Uh, and Dioboromon himself, like his normal evolution, is not on here, which is a little disappointing. I think it would have made more sense, because we have, like, almost uh, all of his evolutions. They should have given us his entire line. Uh, that would have been cool. Uh, and then, you know, give us Dioboromon and then Dioboromon X as the Super Mega. But I digress. So that's the yellow. The yellow device already pretty stacked. A lot of my favorites are in there. Really like Justamon. I really like Karamon. I want to like raise that. That sounds cool. Um, and of course we have Terriamon. Uh, Ice. <laughs> I need that. Um, one thing I'm noticing just reading off the names. I don't unless like his name is different uh, on here. I don't see uh, Terriamon's ultimate. I just see um, it, it looks like there's just um, his Mega, which is. Uh, Rapidmon doesn't I don't I don't see uh, him anywhere in here as far as names go let me look at the image so I'm not like making stuff up but I, I really don't think he's in here which is quite a shame you almost had his entire line you just didn't add like why not switch out Pupmon for his ultimate I would love the next form of his ultimate but we're not getting that which is again a weird choice by Bandai but I I mean hey I'm happy that Terramon's getting X evolutions at all in general, so I shouldn't complain too much. Uh, so we're looking at the blue now. We have Kokomon and Kuromon, Chakomon and Sunimon, Lopemon X. Now I know a lot of people are going to be split on this because I know people, there, there's two camps. There's the people that like Terramon, there's people that like Lopemon or Lopomon, and there's people that like both. I am both, but I lean more on the Terramon side, which is one of the reasons why I bought both of the Pendle and 20th, because I really, really like them both. And uh, the chance to raise them both was uh, something I couldn't give up or pass up. Uh, so we of course have uh, Lopemon X, it's obvious. Uh, I haven't, they didn't show his official art yet, so I can't wait to see it. It's gonna be super adorable because I already like Terramon. Uh, we have Shakomon X, Ryudamon, of course. Uh, Blue Komon again, Jazamon again, Karamon X again. Uh, like there's, there's, these two aren't be, gonna be too different, uh, except for like a couple of evolutions. That's how it's been so far with the X's. So I'm not gonna really say anything about that. That's just how it is. Uh, but we do have on here um, Ginryumon. So it looks like we have all of Oryumon's uh, or Ryudamon's evolutions, which I think is interesting. Um, so we have Ryudamon on one device and Alphamon on the other device. It makes sense. Uh, they were introduced on the X. They're both needed for Alphamon or you can. Uh, it makes sense. If their inclusion wasn't here, it would have made no sense, to be honest. You know, you can't have an X device without those two. I think they're pretty synonymous with the X 
uh, antibody. Um, so we have Pegasmon X, which is interesting. Um, we have Tailmon X, which is awesome. Uh, Telomon X. Um, and then, yeah, we, it's Ramonzaimon X, Rise Greymon X, Anjuomon X, Onomonochloromon X. So, Madao, if you're watching this, uh, hop on this because, I, if I'm not mistaken, that is Madao's favorite Digimon bar none. So, that's pretty awesome. I'm happy for him. Um, and then, as far as uh, Megas, we have uh, Cherubimon, the good version X Antibody, which is cool because the evil version X Antibody is on the X2. So now we have both. I think that's really cool. Uh, God Dramon, I have never heard of him, but he's got an X Antibody form now. Ophanimon X, pretty cool. Plesiomon X, holy shit, I need to get this one too. <laughs> holy Dramon X is already there. Um, and then I think that's it as far as the the Megas. And then Super Mega, we have Examon X, of course, awesome. <clears throat> Super awesome. Old Force Vigimon X, I love that design. I really love Old Force Vigimon. It's a bit of a shame, it's just him, like, no, you know, we didn't get like a. I personally would have really liked, I mean, I'm biased, yes, I'm, I'm raising him right now. Uh, but I would have loved to get a Vigimon X line. That would have been super sick. Um, especially on the blue, too. That would have made the most sense. Or even on the yellow, because the yellow kind of looks like Ty's device uh, from the manga. Uh, we have Duftmon X. Duftmon, as you know, is one of my favorite Royal Knights. Um, so I'm kind of uh, kind of hurting to get him. I really I really like him. Uh, I, this is Sleopmon. I'm pretty sure they mean sli uh, Slightmon or Kentaurusmon. X, Chessmon X, again, Alphamon X, again, Alphamon or Yukin, and then Diablo X, again. So, overall, really do like the, uh, the roster overall, but the duplicates are a little annoying considering that we could have gotten other Digimon on the devices. It's totally, totally Bandai uh, cheaping out a little bit. Um, and, hey, I mean, we're still going to buy it anyway, so they win in the end it so not much use in complaining about it but i do wish that certain digimon were on there that aren't on there namely um i keep forgetting his dang name but terramon's um ultimate along with maybe you know a vidramon x line i think that would have been cool um throw us a curveball give us uh something we've never seen before like uh all force vidramon future mode even though he's not a royal knight technically because that's Ty's version from the the manga. We've never been able to raise that one on any device. That would have been a cool, like, super mega to add in there. But, you know, overall, I do really like the roster. I'm really excited to see, um, you know, what the secrets are that are going to be on that device. Because I don't even know, you know, as of this recording, the X2s haven't come out yet. They were supposed to come out in November. Uh, so I don't even know the secrets on that device when connecting it to the X1. So we'll see what secrets it'll have if you connect it to an X1 or even an X2 um, that are going to be in there. And again, there are a couple of blank spots in there. Who knows what's going to be in there? Maybe it's one of the ones I want. Probably not, but we'll see. Um, I'm very excited though. Can't wait to see it. Um, I am just like super hype. The blue looks gorgeous. The yellow, again, I said, I, 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 it is a little gaudy, but I do enjoy the color. It is very nostalgic. It looks like the clear yellow cases that came out back in the day. Uh, I'm happy that they are continuing to do transparent devices for these uh, releases. Um, it, it's it's just a cool you know thing. I, I think it would have been cool if they would have uh, switched it up and made the, the gate transparent and made the device solid. Um, or maybe, I don't know. It's still cool. I'm still happy. Uh, we're getting more transparent devices, which is something I thought we'd never get. I thought it would be a, I thought that was going to be a one-off thing after the X2, if I'm being honest. Um, so the PB and I link is up. I'll put it in the description down below. It's currently not available on, you know, Premium Bandai US. It's not available yet on Japan you want or any of those stores that I have ordered from yet. But uh, soon, you know, we'll... Uh, We'll be seeing more of it, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm so excited. Uh, get hype, guys! X3, it's here. And what are you gonna get? Are you gonna get both? Are you gonna get one or the other? If you had to get one first, what are you gonna get? For me personally, I'd like to get both, but I think I might have to only get one again. If I'm only getting one, I'm definitely, 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 definitely going to be getting the yellow 
first. I love the Digimon that are on there. I can't pass them up, especially Terriermon X and Rapidmon X. Could never do that. So yeah, I'm gonna go, this episode's already super duper long. And uh, yeah, uh, no drug rest today. Sorry, we'll do that tomorrow, I promise. We'll also have two Megas by tomorrow. Um, also, uh, the tournament is live. Sign up if you have a Digimon that is raised during this event during this group patch that can fly or swim or had it evolved from someone who can fly or swim then you are eligible to join the tournament you need a decom though so keep that in mind i'm gonna go thank you guys so much for watching and as always peace